We're in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and we will read verse 2. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Strengthen the things that remain. Some very good advice. You see, let's just say for a minute here to prove my point. You are away and you come back. And uh, you're away from your home. You come back home and, and uh, you realize that your house has been broken into. And uh, a thief has taken a bunch of your things. And you say, well, uh, what all did they get? Well, they took uh, a lot of my valuables and things, but um, you go and you check that secret place where you keep your cash or your precious metals or whatever else, and uh, they didn't get it. They didn't find that. They didn't take your King James Bible. They wouldn't want that. That's not why they come into your house. And, uh, and what do you do? Well, you strengthen the things that remain. You say, well, they broke the door lock the doorknob and they got in that way and they broke a window getting out or something well I'll just let it that way no you don't do that you'd say I better reinforce that just in case they come back it's kind of weird right now with the snow here because um, some areas there's snow and other areas there's not any snow as you can see around on the ground here behind me but uh, strengthening the things that remain yes they've taken some things from me but what I have left I'm going to strengthen that and be even stronger in that um, it is unfortunate that America as a nation as we know it is dying and it's not just dying it's being destroyed on purpose that's very clear to anybody who's you know 40 years old or older who was born in the last century um, this isn't the same country that we once had and uh, before you get all you know wonderfully spiritual and write in the comments about me being worldly and whatever else um, I'd like to point out the fact that you have to do a lot of quote-unquote carnal worldly things in this life as a Christian you have to eat you have to bathe you have to brush your teeth you have to do a lot of things that you could say just don't worry about it you know we're all going to die, you might as well just not eat and then you'll die quicker or something. Um, you have to do things, brethren, in this life to try to preserve things. We're not going to, you know, hold the fort, in other words, for I am coming, Jesus signals still, the old hymn goes. Um, wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. Um, we should not want to just let our country be taken from us and go right into tyranny. We shouldn't want that. And I mean, even if you're younger, I mean, my son, we raise him with the things that remain. We strengthen those things, show him old traditions and old ways and things. And he loves those things. So you don't have to be, you know, in your 40s or older to understand what I'm saying here. Okay. Um, it helps because you can say that you have the personal experience of it. You've seen it. You've seen the world the way it once was. But... Um, as a Christian, we have to say, okay, I'm going to maintain something that's right here. This stuff is wrong, and I'm not going to go along with it. I'm not okay with the changes uh, that are happening to this nation. I didn't vote for this stuff. Uh, they're doing all these wicked things and yoking us up to other wicked countries and agreements and all this other evil satanic stuff, and I'm not okay with that. Uh, you know, I know that there are Catholics that watch my videos are you okay with what Pope Francis is doing to your church? Are you okay with the woke policies that he's trying to implement? And, you know, deal with it between you and your other Catholic friends or whatever. Don't just say, well, yes, because I have to say that because the Protestant is bringing up corruption in my church. Uh, no, you need to deal with that stuff. I realize that not, not all Catholics are, are uh, horrible, evil, anti-America type of people. You get some of them that are that way. They're, they're rather... You know idiotic and things but there are priests or catholics that you know they go for christmas and easter in other words and um but they you know they they're part of the catholic church for the you know marriages and you know the weddings and the funerals and all the other stuff but they're not hardcore just whatever the pope tells me to do i'll be for it but um 
you need to start considering some things and consider that maybe just maybe um, some of the Jesuits and things are conspiring to bring down the country and you get these uh, people like Joe Biden sleepy Joe and he's a professing Catholic and uh, not a Protestant and he's following orders from somebody uh, Lord knows the guy can't order his own life and uh, barely cognizant but he's doing somebody's telling him to tear this nation down sign laws and do all kinds of things without the will of the people against the will of the people well what do you do you have to strengthen the things that remain they didn't take your free speech from you okay then strengthen that I'm not going to let anybody control my speech um, Catholics want to have their beliefs and their thing and whatever else okay you do that don't force it on me all right I protest that I'm against that um, you know I'm for free speech that's something that the thief did not steal from me yet they're trying to here on YouTube they're trying to get rid of our free speech and say you don't have a right to say that that's disinformation misinformation uh, our fact checkers have checked it because they work for us and it's industry funded uh, fact checking or something uh, I'm going to strengthen the thing that re the thing that remains of free speech another thing um, the ability to defend myself I don't think a lot of people realize that I've known pacifists uh, my grandparents my paternal grandparents were Mennonite so I'm aware very much aware of the pacifist mindset of just willingly go to the slaughter and they'll just kill us and we don't have to resist and we don't have to fight well there are times that that might be appropriate but I don't believe that that time is right now especially here in America um, with as violent and as vile as people are um, giving in personal defense firearms or weapons is a terrible terrible idea it would lead to incredible amounts of bloodshed so if you are for peace and whatever else then the best thing that you can do is armed to the teeth uh, that's some good advice and I followed that all of my life I've always loved weapons of all different kinds and um, you know I think it is a my God-given patriotic duty and God creates nations and so to be loyal to your nation is of the Lord being a globalist is not of God so don't give me any hassle on that either because you're wrong if you're against patriotism and nationalism but my belief is I'm going to do what I can my God-given patriotic duty to be sure to let the Goonies know I'm not um, staying away from uh, firearms and ammunition and things like that uh, I make it a purpose to um, buy when I can because I think it's very important and America as I've said in other videos the armed Second Amendment believing Americans are the biggest military on earth right now and the best armed because most military weapons are actually very poor quality they go with the lowest bidder and I've heard that from countless soldiers and uh, they get out of the military and they say okay now I'm going to build a real a really nice AR-15 or whatever else and they'll you know they go into all the stuff the uppers and all the triggers and the you know uh, different rails and scopes and red dots and lasers and you know all the things that you can get into um, and it sends a message the globalist boys like to sit around their little round table discussions and they like to talk about uh, Jim over here he's in oil uh, what parts can you give up you know we need to bring in the electric vehicle thing so we can control people and you know they're running around little electric cars yeah my son used to have a little electric uh, tractor they drive around a little John Deere one we got him many years ago um, he do work around the property here with it and things Whee! then it runs out of the battery power and, boo! and wherever it runs out then you have to you know he'd say father you know and I'd come over it's out of battery power again and I'd have to pick it up and carry it back to you know where we could charge it and all this other stuff you know see I've lived on a lower level with this EV thing you know we have solar power here we're totally off-grid 100% solar power I don't use a gas generator and um, so I've been through the whole thing of 
what they want for us in the future it's not good <laughs> you know and uh my son you know he would pull he'd skid logs with his uh little electric tractor thing and and um that just would kill the battery power that much quicker and and that's what they want for us adults no but you know jim here he's he's an oil man and jim uh we'd like you to give up um some of your oil produ production because we have to get people into evs and jim says okay well yeah, eh, i don't know and uh fred over here he's he's in the gun industry and and uh we'd like you to kind of cut back a little bit um how can you get into that meeting and start to influence those guys by uh putting a little bit more into their wallets uh increase your carbon footprint you know <laughs> uh, i'm going to i'm going to show the gym there in the oil industry that i'm actually going to support him very well and i'm not interested in this electric stuff cordless whatever uh out in california i know that they have you can't use gas powered chainsaws or whatever else um well i would either use them and just not pay any fines that they give me or else i would just leave the state of california let the state of california fall apart um whatever don't support it strengthen the things that remain you see what i'm saying um we can't let them put, get us all into little electric toy cars that cost a hundred thousand dollar you know tesla driving bomb cars or whatever else you know these things blow up you know they you charged it too long or it, you scraped a rock with the battery bank underneath and it blows up and then it's a fire that you can't put out look it up if you think i'm joking yeah, these things blow up all the time uh people charge you know plug them in in their in their garage or their house you know and and uh which actually goes against the advice of tesla itself and they say you know don't don't have it in your garage it's too dangerous well gas cars burn too yes i've had a few of that, those type of things happen. And uh, you know what, you can put the fire out. Um, had our ambulance the one time, um, had a little bit of an engine fire with that. Uh, my brother-in-law used a little bit of starting fluid because it wouldn't start the one morning when we were visiting. And uh, it started a little bit of a fire. And he just took a cloth and just went pump, 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 and put the fire out and it was fine. Didn't even hurt anything. You know, scary for a few seconds, but, you know, not a problem. We got through it. But the uh, Tesla car, you know, 4,000 degree fire and it's burning and whatever. And that's what they want for us. So you say, no, no, not using your little toy electric stuff. No, I don't think so. Um, oh, we, you know, you shouldn't have guns. You, guns are bad. And you can't say gun. You have to say pew pew on YouTube. Well, if I say gun, I'm doing two things. Number one, I'm supporting freedom, uh, God-given rights. It's not just Second Amendment. It's a God-given right to be able to defend myself and my wife and children. But secondly, I'm also uh, showing you're not going to control my speech. I'm not going to speak in a veiled way. They shadow ban me, you know, no matter what I say. So, hey, I'm just going to come out with it. And if we can introduce this to the other people out there and they can say yeah i'm going to strengthen the things that remain they might be destroying america out there but you know what in my home we're still americans in my home we don't go with the new versions of the bible in my home and on and on i'm not for perverts um i'm just not going to do that stuff it's not okay with me might be okay with other people that's your freedom, whatever. But if you start to come after me and start to take away my freedom, now we have a problem. And uh, so going on a bit of a rant here, but uh, I hope you see what I'm saying. Um, don't give in. He said, well, the way of the world, you know, things have changed. Things sure have changed. We'll just have to change along with it. No, you don't do that. Don't change along with changing times. And uh, talk more about that in the next video. So... Um, Strengthen the things that remain, brethren. Don't give in. Thank you for watching.